Bon après-midi, mesdames et messieurs. Uh, bonne soirée. Allez. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sung-Hun Kim, and I'd like to welcome you to the International Civil Aviation Organization's 40th Assembly Sky Talks. Now, over the course of a two-week period, we have over 68 presentations uh, given to you by aviation industry leaders and professionals, and I would like to welcome all of you to go to uh, ICAO uh, channel on Sky Talks to, for more information. Now today we continue, and uh, this is actually day four, session number 11, and we have a presentation with the theme of um, safety and security. Uh, we will talk more specifically about the special distribution aircraft crashes, which is a tool to manage risk in the surrounding area, uh, in the surrounding uh, airport areas. Uh, our two presenters today will be Alessandro Cardi and Constantino Pandolfi, the Deputy D uh, Director General and Head of Airport Development Units at the International Civil Aviation Authority. Please welcome Mr. Cardi and Pandolfi. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Alessandro Cardi uh, speaking now. Uh, we will uh, present you this uh, tool that we have developed a few years ago and uh, we have applied uh, for our regulatory uh, functions and uh, I will start with a general presentation about the, uh, the meaning and, uh, and the context in which this tool has taken uh, the stand. We started with a consideration a few years ago uh, after a few accidents that uh, repeatedly uh, interested some uh, airports and the vicinity of airports and uh, realizing that the, uh, the uh, let's say the exposure to the risk of uh, persons living around the airport is really something much more than people traveling on board of aircraft so specifically with the commercial airport, uh, airports with the high level of uh, uh, passenger high level of traffic then we uh, started to rec uh, collect uh, these uh, accidents and uh, in order to put uh, in, uh, in, a, in a way that can be uh, managed and uh, 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 read by the users and utilized for in a practical manner. So uh, let's say that before going into the, uh, some uh, te technical uh, details that uh, one characteristic uh, that I, I will point out, and you can see in the, on the background uh, a number of uh, issues, uh, I will not read uh, uh, one, one uh, after the other, uh, but it's uh, really important that uh, the, uh, there is a good connection, a good interaction between airports and the community they serve. Uh, the sustainability of an airport is, uh, of course, uh, dictated by environmental reason, but not only, also the feeling that the airport is uh, uh, safe also for inhabitants and for the people living around the airport. So a good planning uh, inevitably start with a good land plan use uh, uh, around the airport. So uh, what, what we uh, realized, in Italy uh, we have uh, more than 40 commercial airports and then 75% of these are really near to the cities they serve. So uh, less than five kilometers, just to, to be, uh, be a bit more precise. So the problem of the interaction is a real one and the continuous growth of the airports and the traffic uh, is leading to potential conflict with, uh, with uh, the surroundings. So a good planning could avoid in terms of risk, but also in terms of sustainability, these, uh, the negative effect of the growth and uh, putting all the, um, let's say, all the actors and all the stakeholders uh, in a comfortable uh, way in order to, um, to, to support and sustain the growth of the economy for the territory. Then to do this, you can understand that uh, uh, when you speak about uh, uh, land planning use, when you speak about uh, uh, limitations about the use, not the property, but the use, you are just impacting the uh, fundamental rights of the, of the owner of a, of a, of a land, of a piece of land. So we, we did uh, realize that we need, uh, we needed at the time, uh, a specific law in order to deal with the, with the subject, to deal with the, uh, the rights of the citizen 
and the power of the authority to impose limitations. So we had a, a review of the Air Navigation Code and uh, uh, stating that uh, uh, each airport must be uh, provided with uh, uh, a plan, a, ri a risk management plan, according to the regulation, technical regulation uh, adopted by ENAC. Then ENAC was being charged to manage all the, let's say, limitations and, uh, uh, let's say, the, the measures in order to adapt the, uh, the planning to the size of operation, to the size of airport, and so on. Now, what, what happened that we, uh, when we uh, approached the system? We realized that uh, uh, many, uh, let's say, many accidents happen during the phases of uh, taking takeoff and landing. And we know that that is uh, one of the more risky part of the flight. And then the, these uh, surroundings are really to be uh, guaranteed by this, this, kind of, this kind of risk. So we, we started a, a cooperation um, with, to, to, in order to provide a regulatory framework. We need the data. So uh, this, 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 this regulation, let me say, is really coherent with the modern approach uh, of a performance-based regulation because we started with the data we, we went to measure, the, let's say, the performance in a way, the performance of uh, the fleet of, airplan, uh, of aircraft today uh, in terms of uh, resilience to the accident and the way in, in which the accident uh, uh, happens in, during takeoff, during landing, during the, the circuit. And, and then we uh, started to, re recall, to recollect or to collect all the data and then uh, even develop uh, a software in order to manage it. This part of the, of the, uh, of the work has been, it, it lasted uh, uh, quite long because we started to collect data the first time, the first issue of the, uh, of the, uh, of the model was, uh, was just gathering the, the data from the last 15 years. Then we updated with the subsequent three years. And today we are running a second, let's say, um, amendment of the tool in order to uh, include also the last uh, three years until the 2018. So uh, at the end of the game, the tool in the, in the next months will, uh, will provide information having collected data for more than 20 years. And uh, all the data are, uh, let's say, plotted in a, in a chart that we'll see in a, in a moment in order to uh, provide a good view and uh, uh, immediate uh, um, uh, reading of the how the risk is uh, spread and how the risk is uh, um, uh, is modifying itself uh, depending of the, the the place and the distance uh, from the from the runway. So the development of uh, this tool is based on uh, data collection and uh, a software. All the all these the, the two parts of the uh, of the tool, the database and the software. Uh, has been developed uh, in, uh, in, um, together with the University of Rome. So we established a, uh, an agreement with them and they um, analyzed, and they put the resources on this and they analyzed all the data uh, worldwide. All the data, we, we will see in a, in a moment, uh, are official ones. Nothing has been invented and nothing has been added to the pure data. So the, the added value is that uh, we only offer a, a common reading or a common, let's say, uh, plotting of the data in order to have a, a global view of what is the risk around the airports. Now, uh, I will pass the, the podium to uh, Costantino in order to go uh, in a description of the, of the tool, and I will come back uh, for the conclusion and the discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Alessandro. And uh, after the introduction made by Alessandro, we can uh, uh, show uh, how we imagine we realize our uh, software in order uh, to have uh, the, the first indication in order to define the public safety zone around the airports. So the, the tools is named the SDAC, Spatial Distribution of Aircraft Crashes. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, we uh, analyze the, all the main uh, data bank available uh, on the internet or the, uh, and, uh, on the other publication. And uh, for each event uh, registered in the last 20 years, uh, we extract the, uh, the information that uh, you can see on the, on the, on the screen. 
and, uh, for example, the, the date, uh, the airport information, uh, the length of the runway, and uh, the, the kind of the aircraft, uh, the class of the aircraft, and the consequences important uh, of, the, uh, of, the, uh, the, of the events of the incident. And uh, the main effort uh, uh, were, were made to, in order to uh, analyze, to define the exact location in respect to the, the runway. So uh, the first approach and the first release of the uh, uh, of the of the software at the moment we have uh, uh, the events registered in the last uh, 20 years uh, uh, from 1997 until 2015. Now uh, is ongoing the last uh, uh, update of the software until 2018. So how uh, on this table you can. Uh, uh, see how the uh, 1,700 uh, more or less uh, events are reported from uh, each year uh, and, uh, and the mix between the general aviation, military aviation, commercial aviation and, uh, and so on. So uh, the software is based on uh, a virtual runway uh, because we have uh, the, uh, the need to have the comparison between, between different runway with different orientation, different uh, length, and so on. So uh, all events is reported to a virtual runway with a length of uh, 1,000 meters, and uh, uh, in terms of uh, percentage of uh, where the events happen, but the uh, lateral distance is real, uh, real distance, real uh, measures. And uh, as you can see on the screen, we have the, the landing from one side and the takeoff on the other side. Uh, the, the runway is oriented, uh, is a runway 0, 09 and 027 on the other, on the other side. And uh, this is uh, uh, the, the graphic uh, representation of the, of the tools. We have uh, the runway represented on uh, a grid. Uh, and then we can choose uh, the, uh, our, uh, our zoom, our vision that we want to have to analyze the, 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 the events. As you can see on the, on the, on the right, we have the, the filter that we can apply in order to have our queries, our selection, to decide what events we want to analyze. So the main function is uh, reported on this, this slide. Uh, we can ap uh, apply the filter in order to, to analyze the events and uh, to analyze the location of the events in terms of distance from the runway and uh, to, understood, uh, to, uh, if, uh, to understand if it's an event of a wheel off on uh, an overrun uh, and, and so on. Some example of application, here we have the same uh, representation with a zoom uh, with the filter uh, changed on the, on the right. Uh, here we have uh, uh, an events with the photo and the report uh, on the right with uh, all the information. The same events and, uh, uh, and this is an application about the uh, uh, the events registered for the Spanair in 2008 uh, in the Madrid Paracas airport. Uh, and so we have selected the, the events and then we have reported the location of uh, a Google Maps. As you can see, there is a red dot point close to the runway and uh, this is a direct con uh, connection with the, um, with the Google Maps. At the same time, the, 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 the tools uh, provide the, a graphical representation the, in order to define the statistical distribution of the events respect to the run. But uh, now we can have a live uh, demonstration of the, of the tools. So uh, these are uh, the tools online. We can select on the, um, on the, on the right, the, for example, the years that we want to analyze. We can zoom the, the window. Okay, we can change the, the grid to this is, uh, each grid is uh, uh, 100 meters, so you can see that the runway is uh, 10 
square is uh, one kilometer long, and we can select the year uh, um, from the okay. Okay, and then uh, we can, uh, for instance, in this case, select the class, uh, the aerodrome reference code of the um, of the, the aircraft, and uh, select the, for example, the, the aircraft named the Delta. And uh, now we can select uh, an events. Okay, and as you can see, we have uh, on the runway the, the, the photo taken from the report and the, the description of the ANS with a big, a, big, um, a short report on the, uh, at the end of the, the, the right column. We can uh, see the entire report the available on the internet, the PDF is uh, traded to Aviation Herald, and uh, we can, in this case, uh, study all the report, and uh, at the same time, uh, we can uh, localize uh, on uh, Google Maps uh, the, the events. A few seconds for the representation. Okay, and uh, depends from uh, from internet. Okay, and uh, here we have the the dot point that as you have seen before, close to the the runway. So uh, is uh, due to the the time is a uh, uh, faster presentation. Uh, we can come back uh, to the to the presentation. So main application, analyzing the the, the tools uh, we design uh, the public safety zone uh, around uh, the, the runway. And uh, if you remember that uh, we have the landing from one side and the takeoff on the other side, we have seen that uh, the events is more concentrated of the center line on the, for the landing, uh, and uh, we have um, uh, more dispersion uh, on the, for the takeoff. So the combined uh, these two aspects with the uh, draw the and the public safety zone that you have that you see on the on the screen. Obviously, we have uh, uh, the red zone that we, we, we call A zone, uh, with, uh, in which we have more attention to the urbanization. And uh, our attention, our uh, uh, protection measures decrease uh, with uh, the uh, when we uh, have more distance from the from the runway. This is for airports dedicated to uh, commercial. Uh, 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 operation and uh, same analysis is made from the General Aviation Airport with a different uh, public safety zone. Uh, with this, we uh, have the application uh, we, uh, of our, uh, our um, uh, airport na navigation code in terms of the description of the public safety zone in order to protect the urbanization around, uh, around the airport. So, uh, the Italian experience is also so described in the last uh, release of the airport planning manual uh, of ICAO in the uh, part two land use of environmental management that uh, uh, dedicate a, a specific session to our, our experience and describe the software and so on with the last imaging with uh, the, the figure that I have uh, uh, showed to, to you. So, uh, the other main application, obviously, is uh, this, uh, this tool is also used by the Aerodrome Design Operation Panel of ICAO in order to analyze and to support the amendment in terms of uh, regulation of the new release of the Annex 14 and the related documents. And uh, also thanks to the colleague of uh, the EDOP, the tools is uh, now updated and uh, with uh, some more filter and uh, mm, new possibility of uh, to do uh, analysis. So, uh, okay, so uh, I think that going back, to, uh, as uh, you have seen, uh, part of the uh, description of the, of the tool, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, windows, a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, possibilities in order to exclude or to uh, make some queries on the tool in order to, uh, uh, to look uh, uh, more precisely with some characteristics. So you can exclude some uh, categories and so you can study what you wish and uh, have a very deep uh, knowledge of what happened around the airport. 
Uh, let, let me um, express uh, some consideration about the, the process we need. Then, then uh, uh, as you can see, uh, we can uh, conduct any statistical uh, analysis. We can see uh, how the, the VROF can uh, uh, impact in, during the, during the, 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 uh, the, the uh, air aircraft operations. Uh, we can also see uh, the, uh, let's say, um, overrun of the airplanes, how they, they happen. So this can, uh, let's say, give a more uh, uh, really important information in order to establish the measures or to evaluate the, the risk exposure for si similar f for operation, depending also on the weather conditions, because the, the database uh, is very uh, full of uh, uh, information of, on, on any, any of these uh, items. Once, once we had the... Uh, uh, having said so, uh, uh, let me uh, underline that uh, these, the process uh, that we have uh, uh, go, uh, went through is not only a technical one. We, uh, we had, uh, uh, let's say, we put a lot of efforts in order to develop the, uh, the, the technical tool and the consideration from the technical and operational point of view in order to establish the, the public safety zone uh, in order to, uh, let's say, to embrace uh, the number of accidents, uh, let's say, the, the, the nearest, uh, the, no, no, not to embrace all the accidents. So we cannot impose any limitation for kilometers and kilometers. So we, we try to uh, embrace uh, the areas around in, uh, surrounding the airports where there is a um, uh, the major probability to have a crash in order to protect them. So the, uh, the, the, the kilometers that you see in the public safety zone are less than uh, the, the ones uh, shown in the map, because of course the map is recollect collecting uh, 1,700 one uh, accidents, then or crashes, and then the uh, the public safety zone are more con uh, let, let's say contained in a le less less um, um, in part of the less area. From the administrative point of view, uh, once we had we uh, issued uh, the uh, regulation for uh, for public uh, consultation. We received a lot of comments, and uh, let me say that uh, there have been a lot of discussion with the, with the local communities in order to convince them, or let's say, to let them um, uh, to comply with the new rule, uh, understanding the meaning of the rule, and uh, this has been a very uh, tough task. We uh, involved in this uh, exercise, we made a, a roadshow, and we, we met more than 400 uh, communities in order to show the, uh, the, the, the tool, to convince them of, of the, the, the way to use the tool. But not, not, notwithstanding this, uh, we, we also have uh, been ch challenged in court for the, for the regulation, and uh, the state council, uh, judging and assessing the, 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 these challenges, decided that uh, is a uh, is a good one is a good piece of regulation is not imposing more than the, the necessary and is flexible enough to leave the communities to plan the use of the uh, their own property and land provided that there are some minimum standards or some uh, minimum conditions they they, ha they they are to be met and they are the ones established by the Aviation Authority. So I think there has been a very good compromise between uh, a rule imposing limitations on the uh, on the uh, on the owners, on the single citizen, and the the uh, in, in the let's say the general interest for safety and uh, protection that uh, has been to be granted. In this in this sense, uh, our air navigation code. Uh, for the first time, when when introduced the uh, let's say this uh, feature in the in the code, uh, I mean the, the obligation to have plans to have a, a land use plan, in, a, in accordance with our regulation, has been the first time in our history that the safety has been looked at not only to protect the passengers but also to protect people living around uh, so the, the overflown people, so, and specifically the people living around the airports. This is, has been the first time that our legislation has taken care of the safety of uh, people, flying people, and uh, overflown people. 
and this has been a very good step forward in order to uh, accommodate everything. And then to give also uh, to the uh, ICAO provisions, the, uh, let's say, uh, um, an application, an implementation on the legal point of view, on the legislation, on the regulation, and the implementation of this. Uh, nowadays, all the uh, airports, the commercial one, and also the, the ones uh, dedicated to general aviation, are, um, are provided with uh, uh, management, uh, management risk around the airport, according, in accordance with the, the, uh, the, the public safety zone that we have established. It has been a very, very good, very tough, very intense work, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a work that is paying. Uh, addressing now a uh, consideration about ICAO, and as Constantino has anticipated, uh, we presented this tool uh, to ICAO uh, uh, structure, uh, and uh, yeah, has been it. yeah has been uh, has been really uh, appreciated. And at the same time, they put to us a number of comments and a number of questions, and uh, uh, stimulating us in order to have a, a better uh, let's say tool. And we we um, we have put in the in the last software uh, adopted all the suggestion that came from ICAO in order to have a better use of uh, the, the data. And then the donation. Then uh, part of, and this has been really a good uh, cooperation between, uh, between us that uh, invented or uh, the, the, the tool and uh, the potential uh, user. And we, we are very, very grateful to ICAO for this. Last but not least, uh, we have donated the tool to, the, uh, to ICAO in order to be published on the uh, iStar. iStar and available to all the, 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 the authority, all the state member states in order to, to make their own consideration, using it or not using, or in any case, uh, uh, capturing from the tool any information that can be needed in order to evaluate uh, a situation around the airport. And I think that the, this tool can be very useful because uh, uh, if it is true that in Italy we have uh, uh, very um, crowded uh, surroundings because uh, cities are growing uh, towards the airports, airports are growing because of the traffic. So it's not a, it's not a situation, uh, uh, a typical situation for Italy, but it's a situation that is uh, true all over the world. So may, more or less, depending on the on the on the situations. But uh, it, seem, it, seem, uh, it seems to me that uh, we can uh, uh, use and we can we can propose to the to the other uh, member state the use of the tool for improving the safety. Okay, then uh, I think that uh, we we can stop here with the presentation and uh, we are available for any question or comments or curiosity that Sh we can uh, Should anybody satisfy. have any questions uh, to this presentation? Please, I invite you to step forward to the mic. Okay, well, Alessandro Constantino, gra grazie a lei. Great <laughs> presentation, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.